hey, let's go ahead and do a uh, Domus FA deck profile for you guys. Um, so I've really been excited to do this deck profile for you guys uh, because it's really, really good. And I've really been enjoying playing it. Um, but before I show that, I want, to, I want to show this. These are, uh, this is another card, card, or another card that I colored in. And then I made this into a token. Um, now, granted, it's not the best token, but, you know, it's there, so. Um, but, yeah, it's, if you guys can see that, it's really quite cool in the, in the uh, sunlight, so, or in the lighting, so. But now with the deck profile. So, three play shows. Um, if you guys don't know what diamonds do, it's basically a defensive deck where you treat your diamonds to activate uh, Howling or Fort Howling's effect to return one card on the field. So it's basically, like I said, a control deck. And um, with the FAs, it makes it really, really a lot more better. So, um, but play shows, your opponent loses one heart attack for each diamonds card that you control, uh, which is really, really quite good. Uh, this guy's your searcher. He can search out anything in your deck, even Diamond's Howling, which I did not know until recently. So, um, but he has to destroy a monster by battle in order to do so. So, uh, Rex, he's your non targeting removal plus um, second attack plus piercing damage. So, that's really, really quite good. And then Rec or Spinos, he's pretty sure OTK uh, if you want. Um, because you trigger your diamonds, attack twice, and then trigger your diamonds, attack directly. So if you have Lemon Trouble with that, it's basically 5k direct twice. So, which is basically game. So, and then Inkos. Um, now he's pretty much. Uh, whenever a diamond monster destroys a monster by bow, it banishes that monster instead. So, it helps get rid of Palmax stuff as well. Um, but yeah. And then for the final panel monster, before I move on to the FAs, which is Arching Centric. Um, now this is a really good card. Because I've been talking with a buddy of mine and a diamond group, and he was actually saying that you run that to pop this to uh, get a search off the Grand Prix, so, which is pretty nice. Um, you're a downforce or an FA monster, so, um, yeah. So, and then for the FAs, uh, three, hang on, mock. So when he's level seven or higher, He's basically a dark call, so a monster now gets sent from your punch grave uh, from anywhere, it's banished instead. So, let's say I were to attack over this arching centric, it would get banished instead because it needs to be level somewhere higher. So, um, so it's really, really quite good. And if you guys, I'll zoom in just a little bit more so that way you guys can see the effect so but yeah it's it's really really quite good and then three whip crosser now he's actually saved me a bunch of times because once he's always found a higher uh you probably cannot discard cards to activate effects which means that you cannot get ashed um or ogred or anything it's really really awesome and I and that's the main thing that you want to do is get him level someone as quickly as possible uh, if you have in your hand with the with the field spell so you play this play field spell effect make him level seven and then golf with your plays but if they have over in hand when they after his effects it's kind of eh, it's okay but not really want like you want to have over um, it's still really, really quite good. And then one FA auto navigator. Um, 
Now, this was at two when I first built the deck. But it was just a dead draw in my hand, and then I had one in my grave, so I was like, you you really only only need one to uh, go off with your synchro plays if you choose to. So, but um, yeah, that's basically it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, or uh, not extra deck, I suppose. Ugh, can't think today. <laughs> so three diamonds charge. Just staple and diamond, and it really helps out a lot to help search. Three FA City Grand Prix. This is the best FA as well. Um, just because your opponent cannot target your FA monsters with card effects, which makes it really, really good. So, yeah. And then three FA Downforce. Um, this is. Probably one of the better FA uh, spells that they have um, is you increase the level by two, and then their effect goes off, increasing it by another level. So um, it's really, really quite good, and it helps out a lot to gain levels and make your monster pretty huge. So, and then one limit roll um, just help push your game or get over bigger monsters. So, um, yeah. So, that's basically it for the suppose. Now for the traps. Um, three diamond selling. Just really good to help trade diamonds and then to help control the board. So, it's really, really quite good in that perspective. Uh, two diamonds rush. Um, just because it's so nice for defensive plays to help bring out like an ink or a, not ink uh, play shows or spinos. So, yeah. And then two waking dragons. Um, this card is really, really, really quite good. And it's also why I run um, these, these two cards in here. Uh, I can make flare off of the FAs, but it's kind of nice to bring them off waking the dragons too so um but yeah so so that's basically it for the main deck now for um extra deck so samurai destroyer uh it's basically a armadies uh if that's card battles of hunt uh opponents monster your opponent can activate cards or effects until the end damage up and then if this card we leave in the field, um, you target one machine monster in your grave, special that special instead. So I'll just bring back the FAs and some of your diamonds if you go into a XE monster, so uh, that's really really quite good. Uh Dawn Dragster, it's basically a what do I wanna say, judgment, but uh, where you don't have to pay any life points, so it also negates foes, traps, and monsters, so which is really, really quite good. And the motorhome, I love this card because I can just sit on it in the fence with uh, City Grand Prix on board, and they can't do anything about it because it's level, level 11 because of uh, City Grand Prix. And it's, while it's level lower or higher, it cannot be destroyed by uh, Battle by Carpet. And so you sit on it, it's like, okay, come at me. <laughs> so I, just, I know I can get Kaiju, and I know there's a bunch of different outs to it, but it's just one thing that I do like to sit on uh, whenever I can, depending on the situ situation. So, yeah. And then for Xyz, Cowboy, Baguska, because I can't make it, um, so, Nova, Infinity for that, for that option, uh, Flare, because I still can't make that too, um, but it's just an option with Waking the Dragons, and then Ulti Falcon, which is the main reason why I'm running this, so, 
And then that's pretty sure for the XCs, not for the Lynx. Um, three Mr. Boy and two Proxy. And that's pretty sure. I was I was running Great Fly in here, but it was hurting uh, some of my other stuff too much, so I was like, nah, I'll just run that just because it's a little, a little bit more easier. So, but um, yeah, so that's pretty it for the Diamonds FA deck file. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more. And uh, I'll show you guys really this really quick. It's my vamp vamp bleh, vampire deck um, with the proxies in it. But uh, I do plan on doing a deck profile over this. Hopefully after um, the Diamonds FA uh, do videos for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.